Our objective today is to talk you through how to upgrade the form map in DD Export. When you install the new form mapper in the service and the print driver, it comes with a new method for text recognition that, that really is a big step forward. And DDX remains backward compatible, so you don't really need to change any of your maps right away. But when you do need to change a map, you're going to be asked to upgrade it to the new text extraction method. So I'm going to walk you through how that's done. It's really pretty quick and pretty simple and should be pretty obvious what you need to do once you know where to look. I'm going to open my mapper and I'm going to look for my sample form here. I'm going to pull up a purchase order. And this is kind of worst case scenario because now I've pulled up this PO as my sample and I can see it hasn't even chosen a, a form name for me. So I'm going to select the map that I know is the appropriate one. It's this uh, purchase order map here. And when I do, I see the document elements and I see the actions and so on and so forth that are associated with that map. But one of the things I notice right out of the gate is that we have a new column displayed over here at the right on the document elements that indicate what the output value is of each document element. And I can see, to start with, the form ID is outputting nothing. And that's why the form map wasn't recognized immediately. So I need to edit this thing. So I can click the Edit button, and up pops my dialog for editing this thing. I could go in and manually change the top, the left, the height, and so on and so forth, and try and match the size of, of this region that I'm looking at on the screen. But I, I've found, at least in the maps that I've been testing, it's been pretty simple. I just click the Heighten the Selection once or twice, and that solves my problem many, many times, maybe seven or eight times out of ten, at least for the set that I'm using. That may not be the same for you, but that's, that's one way to deal with it, manually changing the coordinates or using the buttons here to do so. So now you can see that I've solved that problem with the form ID. It's now showing me the words purchase order, which is exactly what I want to see if I were to, to look at this uh, form ID action. I can see those are exactly the words that I'm looking for. So mission accomplished here with, uh, with uh, this document element. What it highlights is that the, the coordinates for text on the page might be slightly different with this new type of text extraction. Now there's another way of dealing with this. I can look at the supplier number here too and I can see that it's showing me all zeros but if I look at the, the screen it's really 00001. Well let's just select that guy and let me grab this little region and move it out and you'll notice now I can drag the regions around and I get a little hover hint there it shows me what the content of that area is. Now let's go back over and edit this element. Remember I selected it then I dragged it around. I'm going to go edit it well, now I can use this new button here, Insert Selected Coordinates, click, and it takes the coordinates that I had selected here on the screen and plops them right into the region of coordinates here, and I get exactly what I'm looking for. Okay? If I need a little more granular or fine control on that, the new mapper also has an ability to zoom in on things, so I can zoom in and I can look exactly where those coordinates are. Maybe that's a little too big. Let's slim that down and edit it again and resize it. Good deal. I'm good to go there. Now I need to find the page number. Let's go down here. I can see where the, those old coordinates are and I can see that there's nothing being output there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change that a little bit too. Oh, looks like I can just increase the height just slightly and I'm good to go. So I'm going to edit that, select the coordinates from the page. Again, I'm using this Insert Selected Coordinates button. It changes the top, the left, the height, the width to match whatever I've selected on the page itself. And I click OK, and all of these things operate now. They're all outputting the information that I expect them to. So I'm going to save this configuration, and then I'm going to go to the document header edit to test this. I'm going to click Build Header, and I'm good to go. I hope this video helps smooth your upgrade path with DD Export, our form recognition module for DDX's document management software. Thanks!